swords Eat a body, then I'm aiming at yours I'm a slay, swing, go to the pole Add a mob, is the end of your road Cleanse them, get sorted, then folded Constantine, demons deported What's going on, DSG? It's your boy Donald Bradley back at y'all another video. That last one just fell off, didn't it? Uh, but we are here on Codename Super Channel when Goku and Perfect Cell ran one of the greatest fades in Z history. They was in it, man. They was going bar for bar. You feel me? Uh, back and forth until Goku was like, you know what? I'm going to let you beat up my son real quick. But that's neither here nor that, I guess. You know what I'm saying? That's the part that don't nobody want to talk about. They're like, oh, he had faith in his son. That was a child. That was a child. But we here. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all that there social media. We can hear that any further ado. Three, two, one, click. Oh. Yeah. Yo, fresh on the edit though. Fresh on the edit though. It's about time we go over this Goku versus Cell fight. Easily the best fight in the saga, if we're going strictly off of hands. I remember I was happy as hell for this episode, because before that, I watched 25 minutes of Mr. Satan doing straight BS. Like, imagine your favorite show drops a new episode for the week, got your food ready and all that, just for the episode to be goofy as hell. I wasn't about Filler. to waste my time, I booted up that YouTube real quick, and Cell has me weak. He was shot the first two forms. Put up an IG story saying who want me. Everyone said no. But now this third form had him looking in the mirror, feeling himself. He said, oh, so no, the ladies got to see this. Then all of a sudden he photogenic. Hops on TV the next day and started a whole tournament. Just so he could be seen for those couple of seconds. And now we're here. Goku steps in the ring and it was straight aura. Last time he saw bro, it was tragic. Son was clenching his chest like he saw his billionaire ex have a child with another man. Now he's standing there ten. Like he saw his billionaire ex have a child with another man. Yeah, Yamcha, when it come to uh, fumbling a bag, bro, he like he showed you how to do it. Matter of fact, he ain't even show you how to do it because shit was so bad it had to happen off camera. <laughs> but we move. Toes after beating AIDS and that shit had me smiling. And the fucked up part is, right? There's a fucked up part, right? When Goku found out about this shit, you know what I'm saying? He ain't give Yamcha no heads up. That's supposed to be your man since you was yay high. You were supposed to know, homie, all of a sudden... You find out Vegeta take Yamcha, take Yamcha girl, and you, you ain't giving man nothing. Like, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Goku sold on Yamcha, boy. From ear to ear. They hop into their fighting stances, and Goku's just getting silently glazed from everybody. Trunks over there talking about some, damn, bro. It don't matter what fit he wears. Big bro always got that shit on. Just okay, over there jumping on it like a Pixar yeah. lamp. Vegeta sensed it. it too, but he didn't have the heart to address it. He knew it someone was lost in that very moment. The fight starts with Goku charging him first. And he could tell bro was trying to get jiggy. Cause how he go from this position to flipping over for a kick? Cell wasn't going for all that serious? though. Locks both of his attacks and swings at Goku. And this is when I knew the fight being nationally televised was going to be a problem. But Goku jumps over Cell's attack and he's wide open stuck in that kick animation. And rather than just attacking him right there, he's going to do a whole extra spin just to miss. And I know you You know, they got to be fresh, bro. They feeling each other out. You know what I'm saying? They got to they gotta do the spinny doodahs and the dazzling. Plus the cameras is on. You know they got to make it look good. Everybody watching. Normally, it's just them fighting for the world and don't nobody get to see what they do. Now they're like, oh, y'all get to see how we get down out here. Even though Mr. Satan about to discredit and make shit look weird. But we still finna move, man. Let's go. See Cell over there slide canceling, showing off that BO6 moving. You're not safe either. Because when he attacks, he straight up mistimes it. Look at it. Whole kick swung forward before he even lands. Goku side eyes the kick, retreats, and tries to attack Cell. <laughs> But the weave was so nonchalant that he had Goku clenching his teeth and Cell just catches the elbow. Sunday said, nice try, little bro. But that shit was weak as hell. Goku gets tossed away and comes running back. And this is where we get the first two hits of the fight. Cause Cell catches the punch, holds this devious wind up, and socks him right in the face. And now all of a sudden that extra flipping and spinning shit is dead for Goku. Dead. He got a taste of that knuckle sandwich and made sure he got his lick back. Kicks him right in the face to make this clean ass frame. Yeah, bro, a whole minute to get the first hit in for a Dragon Ball fight is type crazy. Toriyama was deep in his bag they for this getting one. Active. Yeah, Goku and Cell take a step back to smile at <laughs> each other. Just to let us know that this fight's going platinum in the I streets. That's for Hercules' thought on the fight, and I'm not gonna lie, he likes Skip Bayless with the shitty taste, so we gonna go ahead and hit Skip Cutscene. So crazy now the work. Fighters are crazy back work. Disrespect. Fight, causing Goku and Cell to run at each other again. 
Cell throws a punch and Goku weaves and goes into the air. And it was clear as day that Cell wanted to make Goku look silly. Got up and said, ooh, they live streaming this? Ooh, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah. Cameraman's pointing <laughs> at him and he's just staring at it like, Yo, he already got the, the, the Deadpool Wolverine cut at it. It's okay. Fresh. Let's go. He a model, trying to get that headshot on point. And Goku tried to intervene, but there was nothing stopping Cell. He no blocks reaction. all of his attacks like he's an inconvenience and takes him away. And after landing, he takes a knee and he's like, nah. I ain't come all this way to get treated like Vegeta. Yo, trick. Crazy. That boy Goku pulled a move out his bag I'd never seen before. Goes up to Cell, hits him with the... And then comes back with the... <laughs> oh, yo. That was a clean edit. <laughs> <laughs> he just hit him with that daddy fat tough that daddy for yo. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, yo, homie, what I did like about this fight was Goku really did pop out like me. all the moves that he learned uh from everybody else and shit. Like he was he was really moving out there. Seen before. Goes up the cell, hits him with the daddy fat tough that and then comes back with the it takes him to the edge of the arena, leaving only his toes inbound. Now Goku has him right where he wants him. Hits him with a kick directly to the face and it sends him flying off. And this is where the low IQ is revealed. Krillin, Trunks, and Yamcha. Why are y'all cheering? There is no way y'all forgot he could fly. He literally has wings. And like on some real shit, say something did happen where he got knocked out the ring. Do you really expect him to be like, oh well, I lost. Okay, guy, really? That's why that nigga blew up the ring. He was like, this shit was just for spec spectacles. This, this ring really don't mean shit. <laughs> Only Vegeta and Gohan seem to be the people with the drop of IQ. Pillar Lee got his fist up talking about some. Come on, man. That's too easy. Just for Cell to come up and start arguing with Krillin. Stop riding that dick. Stop riding that dick, nigga. Stop riding that dick. And I don't know, bro. Something about the way Cell moves be low-key pissing me off. Look at him slowly flying with his arms folded, bro. You ain't earned that shit. Not one push-up done in this entire existence just lurked his way to power. He don't know what the grind is like. At least when Vegeta acts like that, you can low-key respect it because he puts hours in the gym. But let's get to round three. Cell attacks and so does Goku. We gotta be glad when Vegeta gets some respect put on his name because I swear to God, he just be... <sighs> to be getting done all kinds of dirty. So we, we we gonna let him have that respect. You feel me? Let's go. When they both got no hits like Netspin, they started moving like two sparking zero players with 5,000 hours. Teleporting at you. Hey, y'all to like, hey, to you, we that sorry? Shit, we might be. And somehow, some way, Goku and Cell end up being right in front of the Z fight. And this part gotta be foreshadowing. Look at how Piccolo and Krillin are tensed up from the pressure of the fight. But not go on. He's standing there not even phased. That's how you know the hyperbolic time know. chamber got him right. Vegeta's not reacting either, but that's because he wants us to notice. Do you notice me? Do you notice me? Yeah, yeah. Bro, we see you, I promise. The news reporter started pressing Hercule, asking if he's gonna go in that ring. And I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key feeling bad watching this man's confidence go down to the gutter. Came in this bitch talking like Zion. I'm a competitor. I wanna win. Simple as that. Simple as that. And then ended up spending the rest of the Cell game straight up captain. Used every excuse in the book. Said he was tired. Sick. <laughs> And the reporter was eating that shit up every time. The glaze for Hercule <laughs> might be on a higher level than LeBron. Bro got Man, dunked on in the Olympics, and that shit is getting wiped as we speak. Hercules was a step further because he got encouraged, and his PR team got to work, erased all the footage, and at the end of the arc, he got the public believing that he beat Cell. You Shit's what? Crazy. Cell starts hitting Goku. Crazy with work. Oh. <laughs> like that, that, like factuals, bro. Like I couldn't believe that shit. Everybody thought he beat. So I'm like, how? How? And ain't nobody like that's, that's why 18 went up in that tournament and was like, give me the money. And I won't let and I won't let I won't let you look stupid right now. You know what I'm saying? They had to check that boy. God damn. And Goku just hits him with another after image. Ending up standing behind him to smile again. But shit wasn't all fun and games because Cell comes with a headbutt and Goku blocks it. Then he uses both feet to kick him in the stomach and it sends him all the way up. Peak the battle IQ low. He charges up a Kamehameha to distract Cell and he just knew he couldn't resist blocking it. He got that Piccolo DNA. Got the form down to a T and even looks back at the attack. And that's when I knew he got was him. caught. Goku teleports behind him and hits him right in his spine. And that has him enraged. This is really one you're just play fighting with their siblings and one of you hit each other too hard. Now someone gotta get back and the real fight for Cell. Cell is mad as shit though, and he's ready to take it out on Goku. He turns to him, Goku oh, sees the anger, and he's like, Damn, he really about to rock my shit. Catches him with the right and spikes him down. Had to get the get back. Arena, and now it's time. Come now, Goku. You can't have Vegeta back there smiling like he could hang with us. <laughs> he's shit. Huh. 
you're right. He grits his teeth and I've never seen this animation before. He crosses his arm like he's part Wakandan, then starts hitting the spirit bomb pose and has a red ball of war just around him. See, my dumbass thought he was adding the Kaioken or something, but it was just some extra vision. You know what? I ain't even gonna hold you. That shit crossed my mind too, goddammit. There's some familiarities in that specific power-up that had niggas think of one thing. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? It was the red shit. You know, they know. You know what we think about when we see the red aura on Goku. Goddammit! And it, 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 he did it in the movie with PyCon. We know it's not canon, and they say that if he does, if he does, if he does uh, Kyle Ken with the Super Saiyan, it could really fuck him up. You know what I mean? But I did, I did, I did, I did, Visuals, nothing more, nothing less. The power up had him glowing like a premium BBS, and it does the same for Cell. And the camera pans to Vegeta, and that smile was wiped clean off. They walk up to each other to partake in another round. And this gotta be the first time a cameraman in Dragon Ball decides to record straight aura. And I guess it was for good reason, because the moves out the gate were different. The gut check into the elbow, to a punt in the air. The string of attacks got his eyes disconnected, and Goku didn't waste any time for him to load back up. He goes behind him, kicks him, and he dribbles off the arena. We see Vegeta's reaction again, and this shit is really cooking me, yo. How much further ahead is Goku for him to be looking like this? He got his fist at his chest, mouth open in the- Vegeta, at this point, he's just, NOT AGAIN! <laughs> like, come on. Because last time Vegeta saw Cell, Cell put him down hard. Trunks had to come in and save his ass, you know what I'm saying? Then Trunks got put down. And now they both looking at Goku like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. Because they haven't got no stronger than the last time Cell beat their ass. <laughs> so they're they, they mad confused now. Distress, eyes wide. Like, damn, the power difference got to be so crazy that if Goku wins and saves the Earth, he would still be sick to his stomach. He would have been congratulating him like this. Congratulations! Oh, 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 oh my God. Right. Cell goes on offense, putting pressure on Goku, but he is not going for it. Blocking all the attacks and tripping him off, setting him up for this nasty punch. But Cell moves out the way and hits him with the gut punch. Goku returns by kicking him in the side of the head, and they clash fists and knees, and Goku gets kicked away. And look at this smooth animation. Look at the camera movement. They was really ahead of their time. Mind you, this fight aired in 1993, Neolithic Ages. I know Why the public was accusing picture? the animators of witchcraft, but they really just had an OPS squad on their side, Team USA level. Goku tries kicking him, misses, and he gets toe poked right in the head. Cell smiling, yeah, nah, laughing it's at crazy this stuff, man. You see some shit that came out in the 90s, and it is be, do be ahead of his time. I swear, oh God, bro. Look and Goku just returns with a punch. Very confused how he on the other side of Cell without him noticing, but hey, it's Cell. Bro, bro look at that, bro. The punch him sliding. That's what happens. I've said it several times in these fights, bros. They be getting they shit rock because they don't even realize they in a fight. Like, just forgot. What did Look at some cool scenery for like half a second. Like, ah, that looks nice. They get popped in they shit. Like, bro, did you forget where you was at? You the one who started the goddamn tournament. What you over there observing and landscaping for? You better relax. This side is Cell. Without lock him noticing, in. but hey, it's Cell. I'm with that. The punch sends him sliding down the arena, and Goku hops into that fighting stance. Mm. Cell goes into his deep bag of moves because he's a group project and starts laughing maniacally. <laughs> Multiplies himself into four, and Tien is just like, hey, that's my move. Damn, that is. Man, we're gonna be. I thought in real Goku started busting out some of them too, though. Man. Yeah, bro, I promise no one's worried about all that. Your Yamcha, that Wolfang fish shit only works in video games. Watch That's him be crazy. nice and spark in zero. Nice I'm stuff, calling bro. it. Seeing the clones of Cell doesn't worry me, though, because we've seen Naruto jump Sasuke with them and he makes it look light as hell. So just know I'm expecting the same from Goku. The Cell's jumping and he's fighting back, connecting the left to his jaw, and he couldn't even finish his follow through. The clones get back in 0.2 seconds, and he takes a mean elbow to the face. The clone switches out and he gets a kick to his stomach. Then they have this signature G frame between two rivals. And when they do that, the fights are usually elite. Cause that frame is supposed to show that the two are even. And those be the best fights. But then I saw Sakura and Nino do it. And now it's what not so special that? anymore. Oh man. <laughs> You're just ruining it. Disrespect. Look at my lips. You're Disrespect ruining it. it. Ruining. Ruining the fun for the next man. Sell hits Goku with the knee and he moves to the middle of the arena. All four cells surround him and attack him in unison. Together, together, come on, let's shoot somebody. Shut the f- Wow, come on. Yo, this dad is wild. Yo, y'all gotta hit me with, like, the videos for some of these sound clips because that shit is crazy. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Don't ask me. No, where he at? He's on black and he sees that. Yeah, anyways, that weak ass shit didn't work. 
Goku flies out of it and the cells tag along. Perfect. And this is where we witness greatness, that battle IQ going to work. Goku's able to isolate the cells and take them out one by one. Hitting the last cell with the knee and they stack on top of each other like some Uno cards. And Goku just got aura cause after packing them up, he gonna stand in front of all the Z fighters for a group flick. Who's out that here part. doing it like that? And Krillin low key ruined the photo. How come everyone else locked in being all serious and shit? Except you really nigga. His goofy ass did not <laughs> leave the room. But he just saw his homie smack four cells into the ground. You forget he been with Goku since he was yay hot. And he know he don't mix like that. So he lived vicariously through Goku's fights and he just like, yeah. That's my dog. <laughs> Cell goes into his bag of tricks again, and this time it was Frieza's OP ass move, the Death Saucer. He tosses it at Goku. He of course Weak. dodges it. But hold on though, look at this man Hercule in the reporter. He just ah, dodges it crisply. Seem probably have power scalers glitch. The disc comes back and he sees Cell going crazy glitch. because he's key bending. They right. know he was part Fillion. And after a couple minutes of chasing him around, he decides to bring out another disc. Tosses it at Goku and it cuts his after image. And he doesn't fall for it once, he falls for it twice. Stupid. That don't work. And then Cell's like, oh, where? I got something else for you then. And the commentator's over there like, oh. He's airing it out. It's gonna be long. No! Behind him, catching him off guard. Wait, none of these games. Cell is Yo. Sitting behind him, catching him off guard. <laughs> I need the rest of that clip. Yo, how your cameraman lets you do that for real? All mic'd out, hitting the moonwalk, smooth as hell, right into a. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that dude's funny. Just behind him, catching him off guard, kicks him away. Right, Cell is standing there confused guard. because this was the first oh, time Goku oh, used instant oh, transmission oh, in front of him. He realized that cheesing these zoning moves was not going to work for him, so he decided to go back to throwing hands. And that's what we like to see. He goes in with the elbow. Goku tries to hit him back, misses, and gets right. elbowed by Cell again. And now he has him in this. We'll now begin the push up section. Position. He pushes himself up, and somehow, some way, Cell flies past him. And I'm just like, bro, how? How you not He's seven see foot one in bright green. Plus, you ain't even win when he passed by you. Anyways, he goes above him and smacks him down. Ending this exchange of hands, and we get into the next episode. So the next episode starts, and the atmosphere was just different. Look at Yamcha. He ain't ever get this much detail in his face since Dragon Ball. The camera shows us no part of the fight, and yo, all we're hearing yo, is just straight punky. I can't be mad at no Yamcha disrespect, because I feel like Krillin me getting too much of the of the weak person respect while like yamcha just ain't sitting right there but we move let's go and somebody barking the camera finally pans and we see cell putting that straight pressure on him him down throughout the whole arena i know you've seen that facial expression all he's seeing is red cell couldn't catch up so he decides to start swinging at us have me in front of my screen ducking and weaving he lucky i'm not in that z universe because i really put him to sleep goku blocks cell's punch and this only makes Cell more angry. That look in his face means he was just there to violate, and he finally does. Hit him so hard he made Earth lose hope. Nah, son, who is this? He's out there getting cooked. We're gonna get booed. Yeah, at this rate, we're not seeing tomorrow. But Cell wasn't finished there. He kept punching Goku with straight anger. Freeze's gene took over his body like a symbiote in this moment. Oh god, it did, bro. Thunder, every hit he took he was, he was really hitting Goku with that Freeze of hatred right there, bro. All up in his face, all up in the grill. You saw the racism. Just oozing out of man's at that moment. Give him a sneak peek into heaven. It was looking like GG's. Goku ducks under, kicks him up, and sends him flying to the sky. He hits his teleport, and I'm like, oh yeah, now it's time for my son Goku to get active in this bitch. But Cell shuts that shit down by dodging, and now they're just both teleporting. But it's okay, though, because after 50 minutes of dodging, he eventually gets a beat. Shit was so lethal, it had him throwing up gang signs. Cell lost all the air, and look at Goku. Fist behind the head? Yeah, nah, he was trying to put a hole through his chest. Oh, Cell hits him with the wow. right, yo, causing yo, it yo, fist behind. That that was crazy. The, the quick the quick cut to Ace. That was that was maniacal. Behind the head? Yeah, nah. He was trying to put a hole through his chest. Cell hits him with the right, causing him to back up, and we're getting another round of hands. It starts off with a flash, and Cell dodges the next punch. Goku caught his ass trying to run, and then he chases him down. But bro, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Trick shouting into a headshot. <laughs> yeah, that nigga did. That nigga did all the windmills. All the spins, all the cartwheels, all the tosi dolls. He hit that nigga with a special. <laughs> then he chases him down. But bro, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? 
trick shotting into a headshot mid fight is insane work. That is not the way to join FaZe anymore. Tell had to come with something nice though. Teleports and hits Goku with four shadow clones in each direction, causing him to be distracted. And then Cell comes from above and drags him down. He got Goku's left arm caught, and somehow Goku didn't end up breaking anything, so they go right to really? trap. Cell tries. This nigga got your arm back like that, smack you in the ground, bro. You suck. That arm is broke. There's something. That's something wrong. You know. I'm, I know he is saying, and so they built different. But God, that's a whole ass joint. I feel like if it wasn't broken, that's just cause Cell didn't won't break it for some reason. Don't know why. Cell can heal and regenerate and shit. They can't. You know what I mean? But all right. But he's gracefully dodging these attacks like he's Prime Aang. Flips over his body and kicks him. Cell teleports, and Goku was ready for that. Attempts to kick him, comes back in, and then they both hit each other. Damn. The hands are really too elite, and I'm gonna be they honest, active. I don't know if I could put any other Z fight over it. Animation-wise, I think this one did it best. They both recover from the attacks and jump up in the air. Then Cell's just like, you know what, fuck the Cell arena. Huh? Takes his hand out and booms it. And now there's no limits to where the fight can I told y'all. He didn't give a fuck about that ring. That was for, that was for aesthetics. That was all. Go. And it's here where I would say the fourth quarter hit. Goku and Cell land on dirt. And now it's time for the boxing to commence. Goku flies in. And him and Cell are going block for block. No level. Then they eventually lock hands and bro, I don't even know what the goal was here. What moves are either of them trying to do? They're just holding hands. Niggas is playing them. mercy. After like 20 minutes of doing that. Y'all remember Merc? Come on. It ain't, it ain't been that long, right? I turned with 33 today. Well, yesterday, as far as when this come out. So Y'all remember mercy. They doing mercy, damn it. That shit sounds like, all right, bro. This shit is not working. Let's go back to Bach. And Goku's just like, bang. And they start throwing hells of punches. So you know I got to slow it down. Goku throws a right, but then Cell rocks him. Goku throws another punch, weaves, weaves again, and gets hit with an uppercut. And on the other end, Cell throws two, weaves, locks, turns into El Tigre. I don't know why his nails are so long. And Goku saw the claws and said, put that shit away. And after that, Cell throws up the fist, and Goku's like, nah, put that shit down too. Ending the sequence. And here's what we've all been waiting for. This man Cell is going to fire multiple key blasts at Goku. And he flew out that bitch like Zod. I knew something was Instant cooking. Transmission. Shit, he didn't even start the attack. And Cell was looking starstruck. This is how about people to destroy the planet. When Michael Jackson hit the stage. <laughs> Krillin's goofy ass is just like, uh, guys, what's he doing up there? And honestly, Krillin, shut your ass up. Like, it really got me mad that he got nervous right there. Because we could have avoided this whole fight if he just pressed the damn button. Goku looks down. Okay, I know what I said about the Krillin disrespecting the Yamcha, but Krillin will forever have to hold that. He 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 he, he sold for he sold for the for the nay nay. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And to his credit, at least he ended up with her. You know what I'm saying? If he did all that and then still didn't end up with her at the end, then what was it for? You know what I'm saying? So at least it 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 eventually led to his goal. We'll give it that. All right. Got nervous right there, cause we could've avoided this whole fight if you just pressed the damn button. Goku looks down and starts hitting the Kamehameha. And this is another high IQ move. Selling the Z fighter, so like, nah, he not about to do that. If he fires at him, he boom the earth. So thinking that, Cell doesn't bother moving. But as he kept powering up, he started to quake in his boots. And that's when King Kai was like, Damn it! Finish this shit, please! Please! <laughs> Nah, yeah, he had that tweak in for transmission, and it catches him off guard, and he unleashes it. It eviscerates the top half of his body, and I'm watching my screen like this, cause it was a cold Z move that I've ever witnessed, and he holding that follow through like it was a game. Oh God, bro, that was that was number one until he did the the key belt, the key slide on Kefla's shit. I swear to God, that was that. The key slide on Kefla's shit was the cleanest move I have ever seen in Dragon Ball, period, bro. I would say this was this was number one until that happened, which made this number two. But let's go. Game winner. And it really should have been. Cell's body's on the floor. And you know what they named the next episode? The fight is over. And it was not for the reasons we thought. So Cell ends up being alive and degenerates. And he's gonna sit there and say thank you to Piccolo. Piccolo just points at himself, lost, cause he knows he never did that move. Jordan never. Bro, he like nigga like an arm, maybe a leg. I remember when Cell blew my chest out, I was able to get that back, but I, my brain at least gotta be here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never regenerated my whole ass head. You know what I mean? And fucking Demon Slayer demons ain't got shit on you, bro. You different. <laughs> did that move? 
And I mean, yeah, he's regenerating an army shit, but take off his top half like that? Yeah, nah, nah he ain't never nah, coming bro. back. But anyways, let's get into the final minutes of the fight. Goku charges up and goes in. He tries to punch Cell, he weaves, and winds up from back there to rock his shit. And Vegeta knew it was the beginning of the end. Even threatened to lace up and fight for Earth. No, bro. Please, stay seated. It's okay to walk out with this type of stat line. Jason Tatum had it too. You've done Crazy. enough fighting for this arc. Goku flies at Cell and gets caught with the knee. And I'm not gonna lie, he should have seen that shit coming. Cell wasn't even trying to hide it. What else can this stance be? Anyways, he grabs him and just starts laughing. Then he takes his fist, punches him, and he goes into the rocks. And this was basically the white flag, because Goku comes out the rock and starts key spinning. And yeah, that shit don't even look. Uh, yeah, you know, when they start ripping pages out of Vegeta book of all people, it's just... There's no real place for the fight to go that's beneficial to whoever's doing the key spamming. Like I said, unless you're 17 and 18 doing it against Gohan, it ain't doing nothing for you. Future Gohan. Look like Young me saw that and started crying. I knew it was raps. The green eight in one body wash all of a sudden has this barrier move to block all the attacks. And Goku's just like, all right, bro, you got it. And Vegeta's over there using what little screen time he has left in the Cell games to try and look cold. Standing mad close to the barrier like he wouldn't get eviscerated. And yeah, Goku throws in the towel and puts the fate of the world in Gohan's hands. And we all know how that turned out. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you for 532K. We moving. Yo, them was facts, bro. We watched them facts over here too. Yeah, definitely gotta be the top fight in Dragon Ball Z. Um, They they, they did that one. And then homie passed to Gohan, had everybody like, huh? That's your child. Don't do that to him. <laughs> But it's what happened. But yeah, nah, this one was cool. That's the take. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, follow me on all that there social media. And I'll catch y'all next one, fam. Peace.